Hello, I'm Bernie Hayes. Our guest today is Dr. Alain Phillips. She's the executive director of the Harris Stokes State University Impact Center. All today, we'll be talking about black history on The Bernie Hayes Show. Welcome back. I'm Bernie Hayes, and my guest is Dr. Aline Phillips. Dr. Phillips, how are you? I'm doing just fine. How are you this afternoon? Well, wonderful. T tell us about the Harris Stowe State University Impact Center. That's not the exact correct right name of it. It's, what is it? Well, it's called the Harris Stowe State University Community Network Impact Education Center. We are an extension of Harris Stowe State University located in the 24-1 footprint, which is in the Normandy School District. We have received, uh, been gifted a grant with the Community Impact Network, and they have allowed us to utilize the building that they refurbished, the old McKinley Elementary School. So we have an entire building available to us to provide opportunities for families, not just in that footprint, but across the metropolitan area, uh, we provide GED testing or high set testing is what it's called now. We also have a variety of opportunities available, classes for entrepreneurship. We offer um, young groups come in for basketball practice with their teams. Girl Scout meetings are held there. Many organizations come in and utilize our space or request to use our space for as a meeting space as well. So the center is there not just for students and classes at Harris Stowe, but it's for the community at large. Um, they really wanted to develop what they called a youth hub in that footprint to provide a variety of opportunities. So we are extending our services to again, the entire footprint in that area to offer a wealth of opportunities. We focus on early college programming, career and job workplace readiness opportunities, as well as connecting our college students from the Harris Stowe State University campus to the area to provide them with resources for additional community service opportunities and learning how to network within the space. So we utilize that space as well. Um, I've been privileged to be able to utilize some of our interns from Harris Stowe to give them job readiness skills at the center by planning community-based opportunities and program development opportunities to help us with our programming through the center. So it's a, a well-used space. COVID has allowed us to be able to step back and take the time and really look at our space and how we can utilize it. And people now, as we're coming out of the COVID era and it's slowing down some, we're not out of it. I do understand that, but people are now becoming more comfortable with coming out in person. But we follow our protocols when we have events and we're keeping it safe for everyone to visit our center. That's quite a mission. And I might say that you're accomplishing it very, very well, doing a wonderful job at the Impact Center. Thank you. Uh, on the 15th, there was a program. Tell us about that. On the 15th, we have an event in the evening. One of our community partners, um, You and I Rise, it's a community conversation. Ms. Balanle and Benige is sponsoring this event and encouraging families to come out and talk about um, issues that impact families very focused on how to empower our families through housing, financing, um, finding resources to support the whole family through educational resources. So it's a dialogue, a conversation. Um, people will be able to come out and take part in that conversation with Ms. Balanle. Mm -hmm. Balanle uh, is a very dear friend of mine. Is she really? Yes. yes. Now, the next event coming up will be on the 18th, is that correct? That Friday, we are so excited to have the day party at the Community Impact Network. We are having the Coleman Hughes Band. Mm -hmm. It's a part of the Wolf Jazz Institute Black Radio Hall of Fame partnership. And it's an 11 to 1 at 1 p.m. event, so individuals will be able to come. It's limited. 
I have to say that we have 60 spaces available. Lunch box lunches will be provided for sale at the on site. People are registering as we speak. So I've been told that the numbers are coming in very well. We expect to have a field house. Um, excited about the event and everyone that has called has expressed a great interest in the concert. So we're calling it a day party as a part of our Black History celebration this month. Yeah, we have some pictures of the group that's going to perform there, the Coleman Hughes Project. And uh, here's a picture of them. That's that okay. picture of the Coleman Hughes Project. That's one of the pictures. I think we have another slide that shows them there. They are together. Okay. And uh, that's part of the, the band. And uh, also I think we have there's Adrian Felton, okay. Adrian Felton King, who's a lead singer. Adrienne, she's called. So it's a Hughes, Coleman Hughes Project featuring Adrienne. And that's going to be at the Impact Center. Once again, where is that? We're located in the Normandy School District's footprint at 6850 Normandale Drive, right at the corner of Maywood and Lucas and Hunt. Right. You can't miss us. Our sign stands very tall and proud right at the intersection of Lucas and Hunt and Maywood. So come out, uh, call us for a registration or RSVP for a spot to make sure we're not filled to capacity, but we are expecting a full house. So they can call you at that number there? So they the can screen. also call the number that's on the screen, the 340-3644, extension 314. And also they can also reach you by email? By email as well. Um, that's available, phillipsa at hssu.edu. The flyers, if you see them on our website, um, you can also contact uh, Ms. Sarita Sidnor has been handling all RSVPs for the event, but we will gladly take care of you. Her number is listed as 314-340-3645. 3645, 3645. Correct. Sarita Correct. Sidnor. Right. right. Okay, so call her. That's going to be wonderful. So you also have something planned for the 25th, I understand. On the 25th, we have a lot of things planned throughout the month. So if we, we, we're going to backtrack a little bit to the okay. 21st, okay. which is a Monday. I'm sorry, 21st, um, sure. We're having uh, Black Girls Do STEM from 12 to 3 p.m. They will be registering middle school age students for a STEM Saturday Academy, which will begin during the month of March. It's a free program, but from 12 to 3 p.m. on President's Day, school is out, so families can come out. They will not only have registration for the students, but they will also host a variety of STEM-related activities for the entire family. So from 12 to 3 p.m. on President's Day, it's a day on and not a day off. Join us at the Impact Center with Black Girls Do STEM. Um, the organizer for that event, Ms. Cynthia Chapel, is the founder, and she will be there registering students for the STEM Academy. How did you decide to come up with this, uh, these whole programs uh, during the month of February? One to expose the, uh, in, everyone in the community to the Impact Education Center, to know that we are more than just a building, um, but to also provide an opportunity for educators, community partners, businesses to put on or put on programming during Black History Month that would empower and inspire not only young children, but families as well. So we put together a committee of we did a call, just an open call, and we asked individuals to join us virtually and in person in December to discuss February. We wanted a calendar of event. I really honestly wanted something every single day. However, this is our first year launching this, but I think we've done an outstanding job uh, with the events that have been planned so far. So, But it was just to get everyone engaged. Okay, and then this. Uh, ADA accessible? It is. Mm -hmm. ADA accessible. And uh, Parking is free well, and wonderful. available. And once again, what's the address of the Impact The address Center? is 6850 Normandale Drive at the corner of Maywood and Lucas and Hunt in North St. Louis County. This is wonderful. I'm very excited about what's going to happen. I'm and what's been happening at the Impact Center all the way, although we, we're past the half the month. But... Uh, there's so much more to do. There's so much more to do, absolutely. Right. And we'll be back with Dr. Aline Phillips 
after this. Will you help New Life Evangelistic Center get back into 1411 Locust Street? Your tax deductible gifts are urgently needed at this particular time, and there's many different ways that we're working to get back in that facility. One of the ways is to continue to inform the community through the Bernie Hayes Show and other programs. And if you haven't supported the Bernie Hayes Show and the work of New Life Evangelistic Center, please do it now. It's urgently needed. Your gifts are deeply appreciated. So many homeless people are waiting to get back into 1411 Locust, and so many others need the direct help that New Life is trying to provide at this time, but is facing some real financial needs. And that's why your gift is very, very important. And to express our thankfulness for all of you that are sharing your gifts, we want to send you this special Bernie Hayes cup. It's my wife's favorite drinking cup. She loves to drink out of this cup, and this is actually the only coffee cup she wants to use is the Bernie Hayes cup. There's something very special about this cup, and we'll send it to each one of you that share a gift of $25 or more with the New Life Evangelistic Center and ask for your Bernie Hayes cup. It's P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, that's 63166. Your gift will not only help us get back into the 1411 Locust Building, but will help our first responders that are on the streets, the first responders that we have out there day after day, night after night. It will help keep our uh, women and children in our safe houses, continue to keep our training programs open, our worldwide mission work, whether it's in India, Haiti, Africa, so many different things the New Life Evangelistic Center is doing. In addition to NLEC TV, Tell your family and friends about it. Put it on your phone. Put on your, uh, get that phone app on all your friends' phones so that they can all see the Bernie Hayes Show or go to 24.2. It's your prayers and gifts that make all of this possible. Hi, thank God for those of you who continue to pray for the reopening of 1411 Locust and the work of New Life Evangelistic Center. There's so many obstacles we're facing as we try to help the homeless, but we're going to continue to give it to God. We're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to work, but we need you to partner with us. So again, it's New Life Evangelistic Center, P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, the 63166. Hi, thank God for each one of you that are praying, caring, and sharing. And welcome back. I'm Bernie Hayes. My guest is Dr. Aline Phillips. She's the Executive Director of the Harris Stowe State University Community Impact Center. And they're uh, part of Harris Stowe State University. Dr. Phillips, do people know that there's a satellite branch to the impact to Harris Stowe State University? located in the city? We, people do know, but when you say Harris-Stowe State University, everyone immediately be thinks about the main campus in Midtown. Right. We are an extension of Harris-Stowe State University. We are a community center designed to provide programming for the 24-1 footprint in the Normandy Schools Collaborative, but we're not, we're not limited to that community, we are providing services for the St. Louis metropolitan area at large. So, so these programs we're, we're talking there. about are not at 3026 Laclede, they're in the Normandy Impact, the Impact Center in Normandy. Absolutely. They are not on the main campus. Mm -hmm. They are housed at our facility in North St. Louis County at 6850 Normandale, the Community Impact Network Education Center. For short, we just say the Impact Education Center. Okay. Um, but we, uh, everything that we're hosting during the month of February will be housed at the Impact Center. We are going to have our college students joining us for a few events. So the Harris Doe shuttle is going to be running back and forth from campus to um, the Impact Center. So mm -hmm. we will bring our college students out, those that need that transportation. It will be available to them as well to participate. Okay, the next event coming up, I think, is on the 22nd, is it? Absolutely. Yeah. And this one is our read-in. Uh, there's always an African-American read-in chain held at some day during the month of February. So we wanted to be a part of that. So what we've done is partnered with The Novel Neighbor, which is a bookstore in Webster Groves. Uh, they provided us with Authors, as well as the Black Authors of St. Louis Black Authors Association, is a part of this with us as well. They're going to provide a virtual read-in. So we have links available for classrooms, families that are at home during the day to sign in um, and join us for readings that day across the day with a variety of authors um, to to dispel the myth of that we don't read the way we should. Wow. Um, so we are really doing everything that we can to partner with schools and school districts, early childhood through K-12. We're not limited in the students that we serve and the families that we serve. The promotion of our center is really to engage with 
all families, all students, um, to provide literacy opportunities. We have a non-PBS room in our facility that non-PBS donated, our Early Childhood Literacy Center, to really change the narrative and help us ensure that we are producing students that by grade three are readers, avid readers, and are reading on grade level. But we need to start early. So our read-in day is about that as well, but it's also to engage classrooms, families, in the mindset of reading and making it a daily habit. And all this is with the support of Dr. LaTanya Collins-Smith, the interim president, is that correct? Absolutely. Our president and our interim president, Dr. LaTanya Collins-Smith, is on board with the programming that we have at the Impact Education Center. Uh, our funder with the Community Impact Network, Ms. Jean Cody, and their board members are very much uh, supportive of the initiatives that are taking place at the Impact Education Center. Okay. So we are well supported. We uh, really address the mission, not only of Harris Stowe, making sure that we are serving and providing educational resources for the community that we uh, sit within, but we also are working to just enhance opportunities for all people. This is great. I think there's another slide that we have to you can explain what this is. Well, this is including our college campus. They really want to be a part of this, our leaders on campus, our student organizations. Uh, we got the voices we, of everyone to come out and talk about events that are taking place at the Impact Center during the month of February. So on February 25th, a Friday evening, we're having what they call the Blackout Pages, which is a spoken word event. And there will be students from our campus coming to present. We've opened it up to the community. They have been, um, planned this whole program, was planned by one of our graduates, Ms. Jamar Jones, who is now a an employee with the university. She's actually our early college coordinator. She's working with student organizations to put this event on. So it's not only for the Harris Stowe students. We want our high schoolers to come out and be a part of this experience and families. We're making it a family friendly event, but they're calling it the blackout pages, spoken word. So they can pin their creativity and speak, um, poetically and share their talents and gifts with us through this event on the 25th. This is and wonderful. How can they get more information? What numbers can they call? Give us a call at the Impact Education Center at 314-340-3644. You can also reach out to us uh, via email, phillipsa at hssu.edu is my email address. But we also have, um, we're available on Facebook. So I'm going to do a little cheat sheet here and look at sure. my Facebook account information so I don't say it incorrectly. So we have a Facebook page. It's the HSSU Community Impact Network Education Center. They can find us there. They can go to the Harris Stowe State University website, and we're listed, the Community Impact Network Education Center. Click on our link and come in and visit our, our center and see what we have to offer at the Impact Ed Center. But you can follow us on Facebook, follow Harris Stowe on Facebook, and they link us up all the time with our events. That's great. I think we have another poster to show you, perhaps you can tell us what this is. So this month is coming to a close soon. However, we're kicking it with the Friday night spoken word, and we're gonna turn around on Saturday morning and be at the Impact Center mm -hmm. for our expo where we'll have vendors, a fashion show, live entertainment. Um, they'll be broadcasting live on the radio that day. So come out, enjoy. There will be more live storytelling at the Blackout Expo. It'll be from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. We will have food trucks available as well. So just a fun weekend to explore our culture, to meet and greet, um, socially distanced, of course, and I failed to, to advertise. We have a little mini museum happening at the Institute, the Normandy Early Learning Center. Uh, students have provided us with artwork 
that we have created a, a, a mini museum, a walkthrough of their artwork that will be on display the entire month during our open hours, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Just stop in and say, we want to see those Normandy Early Learning Center's art pro projects that have been displayed at the center. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, no, just saying, we have uh, those young people, and I failed to mention the Black Inventors Museum will also be there the 24th, 25th, and 26th. Uh, Miss Loretta Ford, the founder of the Black Inventors Museum, will have her exhibit on display as well. So it's a cultural event, and it's something there for everyone. And Mrs. Ford was a guest on our program a couple of weeks ago, and she mentioned that she'd be there at the Impact Center. Absolutely. We have Dr. Eileen Phillips as our guest, and we're at the New Life Evangelistic Center. And Reverend Larry Rice has been celebrating 50 years of helping those in need. And we'll be right back after this. Instead of building more walls, as believers, we need to break through the walls and let the rivers of living water begin to flow within us. Walls being built, then churches. So many moving into a political direction rather than a godly direction. So many interjecting the politics here, there, and everywhere. And most of the time, it's walls that are separating us from people, people who do not have the resources we might have, people who don't have different colored skin. Uh, it, all of this takes place. And it's so grieving to God. Let's break through the walls, through the power of our resurrected Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember James, uh, first chapter, last verse, this is true and perfect religion, to keep oneself unstained from the world. Remember the fatherless and widow in their affliction? It sums up the need for morality and justice in our individual lives. So instead of building more walls, let's allow the walls to be broken down, and let's let the love of God flow through us into the lives of the hurting and needy at this critical hour. Our Black History subject for today is Brock Peters, born George Fisher in New York City of African and West Indian parentage. Peters began his theater and film career at the age of 10. Receiving a stage part in Porgy and Bess in 1949, he left physical education studies at CCNY and went on a tour with the musical. His film debut came in Carmen Jones in 1954, but he really began to make a name for himself in films such as to Kill a Mockingbird, and The L-Shaped Rule. He also received 20 nominations for a starring role in Broadway's Lost in the Stars. Brock Peters died from pancreatic cancer on August 23, 2005, at the age of 78. Brock Peters. There are so many women and children experiencing homelessness in the United States and throughout the world. You can be a part of the difference today by partnering alongside New Life Evangelistic Center and the work that they're doing to save women and children's lives who are experiencing homelessness. In St. Louis, we have safe houses where women are able to find the rest that they need and the job training and uh, transitioning from going from homelessness to housed. You can make a difference by partnering with us financially today. Another way you can help is the women and children in India who are experiencing brokenness and hurt and pain. Donate to New Life today to make an, a, a huge difference in their lives. There are so many people who are hurting, but you can make a difference in the life of the individual today by partnering alongside New Life Evangelistic Center. Welcome back. I'm Bernie Hayes. Dr. Allen Phillips is our guest. She's the executive director of the Harris Stowe State University Community Impact Center in Normandy. And uh, Dr. Phillips, we also, the National Black Radio Hall of Fame is also moving to, both along with the Wolf Jazz Institute. And we have a graphic of what's going to, it's going to look like. And this is what's is supporting you for the, your show on the 18th. That is phenomenal. Yeah, so that's going to be what it looks like. And I understand that you have a full calendar, but perhaps you can see that uh, from the Impact Center. We do. Mm -hmm. So our calendar is available online. Um, they've been sending it out through social media just to highlight the events that have taken place. And we did include events that happened earlier, even if they were not a part of our uh, campus events that mm -hmm. we're offered at the Impact Center. We want to empower families in our community at large to take advantage of the many resources that are available. So the entire month of February, there is something going on somewhere. Ms. Jamar Jones, our 
early college coordinator has actually put together a, a passport that will be available for our participants to kind of um, commemorate the month of activities with um, notes and just a calendar, a calendar of events that will be taking place so that they can put something down, pin it to paper, especially for students to create some type of memory uh, piece of the events that we're planning. I think it's exciting for students to meet live authors. So the fact that we'll be able to have live authors reading to students and sharing their actual books that they've written is phenomenal. So we just want to make sure that the resources are for everyone. We're not leaving out any demographic. We're making sure that we meet everyone's curiosity with the events that we're planning at the Impact Education Center. So it's for everyone, young, old, in between, seasoned, um, people that want to be community of learners and lifelong learners. This is the calendar of events for them to participate in. I understand you have two right hands, Sarita Sidnor and Mrs. Williams. Tell us about them. I have the best <laughs> team ever. So Ms. Sarita Sidnor is our continuing education coordinator, but she's also all things events. So if we say we want to have an event, Ms. Sarita is on board and ready to plan. So she is responsible for coordinating a lot of the events along with Ms. Michelle Williams, who is our administrative assistant at the Impact Education Center. And I've already mentioned Ms. Uh, Jamar Jones, who's our early college coordinator. We're a small but mighty team, and we can't forget our Public Safety Officer, Mr. Gary Davis. Officer, Ga Dear Officer Davis is simply phenomenal. Um, yeah. So we're a team, but everyone there, including our Clean Tech crew member, uh, Mr. Elbert, everyone at the Impact Center pitches in. They fit in where they need to to help make our events strong. But I have a mighty warrior of, of for a group of team of members that I work with, so I cannot complain. Are you a St. Louisan? Are you from here? Tell us about Absolutely. why you chose academics. So I am a St. Louisan. Mm -hmm. I am born and raised here in St. Louis, a product of St. Louis Public Schools, graduate of Metro High School, um, a graduate of Harris Stowe State College. Uh, education is in my blood. I love the thought of teaching, being a part of the community of learners. I've always been a student, so I enjoy being in that field and in that arena, and I also enjoy program planning. So Harris Stowe is near and dear to my heart. Being a graduate and everything that I've done in education is because of the training that I received at Harris Stowe. So it used to be Harris Stowe State College, and now it's Harris Stowe absolutely. State University. So I was there as a, in, in, when it was Harris Stowe State College and able to come back and be a part of the experience now. It's been amazing. Um, but being in St. Louis, I was an educator in the Ferguson Florissant School District for 24 years. And then I moved to the higher ed realm with some educational consulting work as well as adjunct instructing at the university. We have about 10 seconds left. What's your phone number again? How can we reach you? Give us a call at the Impact Center, 314-340-3644. You can reach us, ask any questions, leave a message, and we will gladly return your call if we're not there to pick that call up immediately. Dr. Phillips, it has really been a pleasure. I just Thank want to say you. good luck to all of you at the Impact Center. Thank you for being a part of Harris State University. And, and thank, thank you, you for supporting you us. It's a, nothing but a pleasure. Thank you so very much. Thank you. And uh, I'm Ernie Hayes, and we thank all of you for viewing us, and we can hope that you continue to visit the New Life Evangelist Center, 24, 28, Woodson Road, Oberlin, Oberlin Missouri, 63114. I'm Bernie Hayes. Have a great day. Stay safe, please. And if you have not been vaccinated, get some shots. Have a good day.